heartbreaking crash kills four people. Now tonight, new questions about the local stretch of road. A traffic investigation could lead to changes along Lamb near the 215, the site of yesterday's deadly crash. Action News anchor Don Guevara is live in our mobile unit to show us why that area is so dangerous. Don. Steve and Trisha, we're getting right to the video. Neighbors in this area and police agree that speed was a factor in this crash. There are some other dangers out here. If you notice, there is no median. We asked the city about that. You're going to hear their answer in a couple of seconds. Also, notice how dark it is. There are no street lights on this stretch of lamb. Using a pair of shoes and debris left from yesterday's deadly crash, friends of the victims added bright yellow flowers to create a memorial. It now sits on Lamb near the 215, the site of the accident. Shara Uyumatsu, her daughter Ali, and family friend John Sneed all died in that crash. They were traveling south on Lamb when police say the driver of this yellow Nissan, a 28-year-old man who also died, crossed into oncoming traffic. His car struck theirs head on. No words can really express the loss. Amelia Garcia is a friend of the family. She says all that is left of it is Chris. He was at home during the accident. He's taking it really hard. He's the only one left. His mom is gone. His sister, John, is like um, an uncle or, or dad. He's been with the family since they were little. So, I mean, his whole world is, is upside down right now. Police say the driver of this yellow Nissan who caused the crash was likely speeding. The city of North Las Vegas Traffic Division told Action News there is no median because there are no intersecting streets. The city plans to look into the potential dangers on this road. We'll take uh, speed studies, we'll examine the crash reports, the history over say a five year period. Um, we'll look at the configuration of the roadway, um, any other sort of factors that might have um, affected that crash. At the memorial, one friend wipes away tears. Another sits in sadness over the sudden and tragic loss. And back out here live, this accident was not did not happen at night. It happened in the daytime, but that's not to say that something like this couldn't happen when it's dark. We're approaching Centennial right now, and when we get to this part of the street, you can see plenty of street lights here. The driver who police say caused this crash, so far his identity has not been released. We'll have to wait for the coroner to give us that information. Reporting live tonight, I'm Don Guevara, Channel 13 Action News.